good morning friends good morning viewers good morning students in this video i am going to explain you excel graphs title editing x axis y axis labeling adding the graph title beautifying the graphs font size and file in this see this is the layout under layout we are having the chart title axis legend so on so how to give the graphs graph title i will explain already we have already we have plotted one graph in the previous video for the same video i am giving the axis see if you leave this graph you will see only up to view if you select the graph the design layout format will be opening <coughs> opening so i am double clicking here coming to layout so coming to layout axis axis for axis table below below if i click here axis this is renamed to roll numbers roll numbers and uh, we want the y axis see here y axis this is our m set ranks this is our m set ranks so this is our line plotted line this is our legend these are the x axis and this is y axis double click and you can change the font also font is times roman times roman i am taking a 12 font 12 is enough 12 font i am taking you adjust the scaling like this the numbers complete roll number should be displayed if it is like this the roll numbers are overlapping so adjust the thing like this okay this is our plot plotting of the uh, labeling the labeling the graph So using these commands you have to label the graph copy graph and tables from excel sheet to word in word we can in word we call sometime graphs also as a figures only label the graph label the figures below the figure below the figure we have to give the caption of the figure write whatever the figure descriptions and explain in the in our own words write what the uh, writing the uh, writing the what the what the figure describes we describe what uh, whatever the plotted we have graph we have pasted what is the meaning uh, uh, meaning and what the graph is describing we have to write in our word words below the figure copying tables from excel to word see for example for example this is my this is my data same thing i am copying as a table to word copy don't directly paste it in the word direct in the report directly post pa see i have pasted here ctrl z i am giving some space i pasted here so what i mean to say is you can you can uh, create a table side by side so this is two columns so i am creating two column one empty column and again two columns like this i created and you select select to half part Half part. For example, I have taken here cut. You can paste it here. The remaining thing you can paste beside. Beside. See, I am pasting here. Same thing, same title, same title apply to this second side also. You adjust. You adjust the thing. You adjust it to be in the two column. Like this. Now you click, right click, fit to. Contain and then fit to do window like this. You can adjust the table within the column. I want I mean to say is like this. We can adjust our table. Okay, this is our table. Now you can know now you can apply before and after. Don't give the line spacing line spacing for the tables. Always use before and after. See, this is my before and after. This I want to explain. Uh, so this is copy excel data excel table to any word file and create your own table in the two format copy paste it format the table with your own style and font before and after don't use the line spacing if your table caption should be above the table before the table inserting before that this is a very important point before the inserting the table we have to write about the table first and then insert the table Whereas for the figures, below the figure we have to write about the figure, what it is representing. This is a different of the table and figure. For, ta for tables we have to write before only what the table is going showing. 
then we have to plot then we have to insert the table then afterwards insert the graph and write the figure caption of the graph then write uh, what the figure is showing what uh, the figure is explaining so this is a type of the this is one type of the table i have created but in the excel it is uh, it is in the only one one column two columns now but i am taking half year half year like this you can adjust the tables after copying the table and graphs write the story how you have collected the data and this is very important for the cad people for every for every question you have to write how you have collected the data and the, what are the points you have collected in the questionnaire before inserting just now explain the same thing i am repeating it again I repeat it again one minute same thing i am repeating again. before table inserting we have to write about the table and then insert the table whereas for figures below the figure we have to write the caption and write uh, and write about the figure at last we have to write the conclusion about the table and graphs this four points you have to write for each and every question the text wrapping exact text wrapping is see in our excel in our excel see this is my excel original excel see m set rank first i am copying it well, i am explaining what is text wrapping when you are typing the text is like this but the data under this is only two digits only two digits so i want to increase this mother occupation the occupation should come under so click here click this see student data mother father occupation should come under so click here text wrap text wrap text means automatically the second line will be going in it is inserted but you double click here row automatically the second line will be coming down see if you apply this one apply that wrapping and you de decrease the row see apply the text wrap and decrease the row automatically it comes to the second line this is the wrap text meaning of wrap text so i have a, i have concluded i have explained you i think i have explained you everything now you can do your your by using the filter commands so before i have explained you how to how to what is the top rank in the same as if you want only female stop just select the female and click this one and now fill females under females who is the topper a to z this is the female topper if you come back if you want to come back just come to the roll number you give a to z automatically everything is open now you are also select all and this is open if you have selected anything this is arrow mark only one should one one command should be selected see if it is cbsc if you want only private student just select private and click these are the private students are going to this under private if you select private under private you want only uh, females means now select the female and press okay see under female these are the private student she is the topper in the private female okay private female and whose parents are government government father is government mother is also government our condition is four conditions one is female female and private school student father and mother is government means this girl is the topper in the from this four conditions like this now if you want to come back again come back again give here you have to select everything select all only government is select all okay come back select all come back select all come back select all and you filter it now a to z this is coming back to the normal position and if you want to select who is the topper in the topper in the ssc grade miss click this one z to a now it is z to a this our following students are the toppers in the this thing how to plot a ssc topper just select roll number to ssc right click copy okay the time is up now this for this video